Growing up in school, I was called every single name in the book, to my face and behind my back. Don't go chasing waterfall. I'm a singer, I'm an actor, and whenever I'm not doing either of those things, I'm driving for Uber to pay my bills. And I have a one-man show that I created called Magic 8-Ball, My Life with Asperger's. Who here is at least familiar with Asperger's? I was diagnosed with Asperger's at 11 years old in 2000. One of the things that kept me going, that got me up out of bed every morning, was my dream to be an entertainer. I auditioned for American Idol nine times. I never made it on TV. Then in 2014, I was watching this episode of Oprah's Masterclass, and Whoopi Goldberg was featured on the episode. She decided to put together this one-woman show, so then I thought, maybe I should do a one-man show. I went to my friends Penny and Crystal Wilson and asked them to be producers. This seems like it's four hours, five hours long. At this point, it's not at the level where I would want to promote this. This is my life story and I tried to cut out as much as I possibly could. All I need to know is the most compelling parts. I wanted to premiere my one-man show at the 2017 Hollywood Fringe Festival. For two months, we cut things, we added things. Opening night was the first night that we did the show from start to finish without stopping. Thank you all so much. One of the most rewarding things about doing this show was getting the chance to meet people in my audience who were also on the autism spectrum. At age three, I was diagnosed with autism. I can sense that everything was kind of weird because everybody be over here talking and I'd be left over here, you know, pretty much by myself. The autism spectrum is a very wide spectrum. Some of these kids on the spectrum will never be able to speak. Kids would kids would talk kids would talk down to me. Um, they you know they you know they would you know they would they, they would call me names. They would um, they would sometimes tease me. Um. Every mother knows if their child is a little different. We didn't want them to be labeled. We didn't want them to be treated differently. It's that gay faggot. Ew, no, you're a goth. You gay guy. Ew, freak. Queer. <laughs> <laughs> Every voice deserves to be heard, and I will speak for those who cannot speak. Welcome to Montrose, my first hometown. There's a lot of red, a lot of Republican, and a lot of Trump supporters. What I must warn you of is for the authenticity of the play, there will be a little profanity. These are church people. <laughs> this is my first time doing a conservative audience. It's the first time my mom has seen it. I thought I was only attracted to women. Not that I'm opposed to being with a woman, but if a person makes me happy, do I rob myself of that happiness just because the person is a man? Next month in August, I will be going to Edinburgh Fringe Festival in Scotland. It's the biggest theater festival in the world. This is a big deal. Nothing, I have worked really hard for this, no, and I wait, deserve Wait, 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 let me tell you something. Hold on a second. We're supposed to work as a team. And I'm still going, but our relationship is okay. the same. That threw me off. He punched him. No way. It's like, how am I gonna continue doing this show after that? That's never happened to me. I didn't need to win American Idol. I don't need to fit in. I don't need to be normal. I don't need anything to validate me. I validate me. My life with Asperger's is truly like this magic eight ball. Life is gonna have so many different questions and answers. But if you learn to just roll with it, you're going to be okay. I can